this time, let us continue with the children's message this day. Children, good morning. Those that are here and those that are at home, good morning to you this day. And today, I know several weeks ago, was it last week? I'm not sure. Uh, we talked about credit cards. And uh, yes, and this week we're going to talk about work. That is when you get that job in life and you work, let's say, nine to five. How many hours is that quickly? I know some of you are learning clocks at, at school this day. I think that's, uh, what's nine to five? That's <laughs> eight hours, right? And let's say you were paid $10 an hour. Kids, how, what, what, would you pay that, what would you be paid that day? What do you think? Eight hours at $10 an hour. I know this is not Word Problem Sunday. I'm sorry. I know you had enough school. But what would that be? Eight hours, $10 an hour. What do you think? You got to carry a couple digits, and there you get... $80. Now let's say your friend, right, your coworker comes to work and let's say uh, he wakes up a little late, you know, <laughs> gets to work at four o'clock in the afternoon and works from four to five and works one hour. How much do they make? $10 an hour. They would make $10. Now at the end of the day, you, you go to your boss and say, okay, now pay me. And your boss says, well, here's $80 for you, the one that worked eight hours. And well, that one hour worker, well, hmm, you get $80 too. And what would you say, Chris? Not fair, not fair at all. So what we learn here, friends, is this, is that Jesus is showing us that what he gives to us well, is for everyone. It's not by what we have done, but it's by what God has done for us. You know, the story shows us this day that yes, we work hard in this life as Christians, right? We love and serve our neighbor, but when it comes to our salvation, our Lord gives to each and every one of us the greatest gift of the gospel. It's not because you worked harder than the other person, but it's because Christ has worked the best for you as he went to the cross to die for your sins. See, no matter how hard we try, friends, no matter how good we've done in this life, or so we would tell ourselves, when it comes to salvation, when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to eternal life, it's only Christ. It's all about Christ, right? And this is what we learn today in our text, kids, is that at the end of the day, when you're a Christian, when you're loving and serving your neighbor, at the end of the day, you rest not on what you have done, but you rest on what Christ has done for you. And what a great comfort that is in Jesus Christ. Because we all have the same gift. And that is Jesus on the cross, Jesus in the resurrection, Jesus for you, for giving you all of your sins. All of you, not just some, but for all. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, O Lord. For the gift of salvation. We know that it's not what we have done that has saved us, but it's all by your grace, your compassion, your generosity, that you come to this world to save us from our sin. Thank you, O Lord, for paying the price. Thank you for standing in our place. Thank you for forgiving us of all of our sins. Thank you for your gracious work. We pray this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, all right. Let us continue with our sermon hymn this day.